up this whole year. TSM 2-0'd them the first go-around, 2-1 the second go-around. Now for a third time, and with Mikey joining them uh, temporarily on the side of Shopify whoa, whoa, Rebellion, we'll whoa, see whoa, a third whoa. time's the charm. Whoa, wait a minute, Kevin. Yeah. Mikey joining them. They joined Mikey, <laughs> bro, okay? Let's get something straight off the bat. That's Shopify true. joined him on yeah. his road to dominance. Yeah, I, I do remember that uh, when ESL uh, Dream League announced the team list, they said that this was Mikey's slot, and then he needed to fill out the roster with uh, four other people. And uh, fortunately, Shopify were available, so. All right, the most interesting thing about this game that has already happened outside of our TZ feed and first blood, which- Well, that's standard. I mean, yeah, that's not interesting, right? Yeah. It's gonna happen every other of game. And he's gonna get tipped, of course. You gotta start the mental damage early. Yeah, yeah. Why is crit on the undying here? Yeah, what is going on there? And fly on Rubik. I feel like Rubik is one of crit's signature heroes over time. I think, yeah. it's, a, I think it's the one ranged hero out of Dark Willow that I think of, I'm very confident giving it to him outside uh -huh. of those melees that he's known for. Fly does, Fly is also their undying player. Like, he's happy to pick this up. Is this literally just they don't ever want to swap the lanes and they felt like this undying was better with the Enigma, but even in this scenario, I feel like you'd rather have crit on this Rubik. 100%. So that's a very interesting choice for me from Shopify. Maybe there's some deeper reason. Maybe there's some weird itemization they want to go for. Like, oh, this undying is going to get swole with phase boots armlet. <laughs> I, I, okay, so I 100% I agree. I would much rather see crit on the Rubik. Uh, when it comes to play styles, like, I'll, I'll just be honest, Crit is a much better playmaker than I think Fly is. Yes. But Fly, his specialty as a player has always been the defensive saves. So maybe he's going to go, like, the Shard Rush, and he's going to play, like, that kind of but what are you saving Rubik from? Telekinesis. You're going to throw the guy 400 away from Exo and he runs after you? I mean, it breaks the, uh, breaks the drain. Uh, I, I disagree with this. <laughs> it gets him out of kinetic field. I mean, yeah, I guess if you go late yeah. game versus Disruptor. It's yeah, you got to get him out of this Static Storm kinetic field combo. Uh, I'd rather have the play me game. I mean, what kind of plays can you make with a dying? Can yell at your zombies to run faster? <laughs> <laughs> go. Go, <laughs> it's, my baby. interesting choice. I mean, there's no right choice. I think theirs is wrong, but there's really no right choice. You know? <laughs> there, there's no wrong choice, yeah, except for this one, but... I mean, the, the upside is they want the laning. And I think the side laning is really important for Shopify in general, especially in an NA-NA matchup, yeah, where it is God. historically so much about the first 10 minutes and who wins lanes for that region. So maybe that's just like, all right, whatever. Maybe we lose some playmaking, but we just really want to win this laning phase versus TSM. I can understand that. Yeah, the, and they uh, are winning it, because these lanes not going super well very early for TSM. I will say the mid is going very well. Mikey is getting shellapped. Yeah, Browns stepping it up here. 12 and 5. This this matchup is okay for Pango, but it's still Batrider favored, right? Yes. Yeah, like one of those, like maybe what, 60 40? Maybe even closer, honestly. I feel like Pango gets out of this matchup. It's more just that early to mid game transition for Bat can be a bit faster if he's ahead, but he yeah. is not ahead. So this is. No. It's not looking good for their tempo off of this mid lane, which is really where Shopify wants it to come from. That's, that's funny. That's... Right after the panel talked about how Mikey was going to pop off on the Batrider. Yeah, that's true. Might have cursed him a little bit. I mean, I also said, you know, it was Shopify joining him that, <laughs> that probably didn't yeah, do you him did. much You were work. hyping him up a little bit. <laughs> All right, I'll tone it back a bit. I'll tone it back. We kind of went instantly up to 10. <laughs> yeah, you got to have the build up. Oh, nice toss back there. Arteezy's going to take a little bit of extra damage for his troubles. Nothing too major, though. Camps are just blocked up there for Fly, which really sucks. Uh, I feel like Fly is one of the players who always likes the pulls here. Of course, TSM are going to know the playbook. They've played versus this team more than perhaps anybody in the world. I mean, ha uh, I, is that actually true, though? Arteezy, is he going to die again? Ari is going to look to run him down here. He's going to need a couple more hits. Gets one, two, a second one. Not able to get it off just yet. And RTZ is going to start cutting through the trees, loop back around, and Ari will cut through, find a shortcut, but it's not good enough. RTZ went the full loop around and will stay alive. I'm not sure if he's happy with this lane, though. Yeah, stay alive for what kind of fate here? Yeah. Worse than death. Yeah, any, any healing sounds? This is a tough lane. Uh, like Rubik Luna versus a ranged core with Marcy. That's tough. I don't think this lane is easy to play for Shopify. And normally I feel like they want to win these Luna lanes. So honestly, TSM did a decent job of 
eliminating some of the aggressive early lane potential that sometimes just wins these NA versus NA matchups. Mm -hmm. After that, all I promise I'm done talking about laning. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, it is it is fair to talk about it. NA versus NA are pretty much ten minute matches. The ten minute gods that's what they call them. That's no, I don't think I don't think anybody has ever called them that. Straight to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> ten minutes on land and uh, book my ticket, brother. <laughs> Now that, that Dude, I this is why they put me that. on the NA NA matches <laughs> because they yeah. know I'm just gonna talk shit for an hour. Yeah, it's but I have that right. I was in I was in the dumpster with all of these <laughs> brothers together with you the were bonfire in the, in the garbage middle. pit. That's right. That's a special bond. You know? Not like Saberlight. No, Saber he merely Light. adopted the garbage. That's right. But you, born into it. Arteezy does manage to get the kill before he dies. Here, of course, he is gonna die. <laughs> I like how you're going, going for the extra CS denier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, it's I'll classic. take your range creep with me. And that, that is classic RTC. Yeah, is. There are so many clips of him like CSing on death. Tomato is stuck here. Oh dear, that's gonna be a rough one. But uh, they might be able to get the punish for it with the TP coming in from Brile. Oh, are they? Or oh, he's good. Yay? Nobody dies, and they actually got two kills out of that. That could not have been worse. No. For TSM. Absolutely now, Shopify might that. be able to kill Kasane, who has had kind of a free lane. With, and of course, this drain, man, it is so hard to beat Death Prophet in lane. And Luna is a very good matchup versus Hero in general. So the fact that this lane is going that much better for Kasane is really nice, because then you can just skew this matchup the whole way down. TSM in a pretty decent position outside of bottom. Bottom has been an absolute disaster for them. Dubside is it's a Templar assassin, so if you get some triangle stacks, you can always come back and give some early Roshan between the DP ult and the, the TA Deso if you want to go that route. Can you explain the uh, the Death Prophet Luna matchup a little bit more? Okay, I'll explain it in terms that you can understand. Yeah, speak <laughs> slowly for me. Luna by Scotty Shard throw Big Glaive. Big Glaive hit Ghost. Ghost no like big glaive <laughs> <laughs> is that good yeah that's uh, i understand that now okay i don't even know if that's accurate <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I was like well that wasn't the explanation i was expecting but oh, last was gonna go down he is gonna be just fine i think the tombstone goes out but like that's kind of whatever get him zombie Arr. the zombie did not get him no man mikey's having a rough laning phase here the early CS and waves did not favor him. Bryle's got the power runes just taking it to him with support collapse. Rough. It's rough. That said, I feel like in those other back games we saw from him, it's all about the, the mid-late game bat. He's not really this early tempo batter player. I feel like he just goes for the greedy items, plays to scale. Yeah. And then in the late game, he's just killing you with refreshers and ags and all that nonsense. Yeah, and that like 55 minute game that like I was watching at 20 minutes and honestly, I thought Shopify had already lost. Uh, and he's, he really hadn't done much on the bat rider. It was only like well, you're later on to down the game. like that. I mean, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm agreeing with you that the early game might be, you know, kind of whatever, but he is a beast in the mid to late game. So, you know. Yeah, you got to play to his strengths. Yeah. But I think that puts more emphasis on Saberlight to have had the good start he's had so that he can play tempo with this, uh, with this Enigma and join some of the early fights with whatever aura item he wants to go here. First XO. Are you ready for it? Oh, he's trying to catch him with the Dispose. Not going to be able to get there. Fly is probably going to be run down because there's nowhere really for him to go. Gets a CS. Nice. Nice. Another attempt at a roll here from Bryle. Crit going to get the high ground tombstone. Bumps himself up to the high ground. Nicely played on the positioning there. Mikey will snag the Invis rune away after he was farming an Ancient Step. So he got a... He should be a bit bit better shape than he was before. Arteezy also had a stack going for him here. White Mon and Ari are going to hunt him down inside this tree line. Nice hit there from Ari with the dispose back into the rebound stun. And a glimpse back ensures his fate. Arteezy should be dying here as the last bit of damage required comes from White Mon. That's a rough one, man. You're giving the high five. At least he's in high spirits, but he knows his ancients got stolen by Mikey here. He's not going to be happy about that one. Uh, well, I don't know if you want to steal Ancients from Arteezy. That's remember, they, they joined Mikey. I feel like those were Mikey. That's chest. true. It is Mikeify Rebellion. Oh, that's too far for you. 
I mean, it's, it's better than all these guys who call it Spotify. Yeah, learn your team names, scrubs. I don't, I don't, I think they know. I think they're doing it intentionally. I'm just trying to be antagonistic. This game is all about how much momentum can TSM build off this Pangolier right now. Because he has power room control. He has mid lane control with the rotations. And the Death Prophet too, right? You combine the yeah. fighting power of the Pango with the pushing of power damage. of the uh, Death Prophet. You could take over this game. And again, I feel like Crit is on a stationary support. So maybe that's good for the laning, but it's pretty bad for these types of fights where normally he's the one playing aggressive around mid and setting stuff up. Yeah, who's going to help Mikey here as he gets oh. glimpsed back and the glimpse back actually does the damage that kills him. tomato has been staying down here for a while. I don't think they've been stacking for him, but he's not getting fully kicked out, which means this tower is still alive. It's been getting chipped. That early laning advantage for Sable like though is not transitioned into more map control here, which means TSM are just aggressively invading. And man, the ancient wars have already begun. There's a lot of sentry and dewarding for this dire triangle. We gone the ancient wars, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was there 3,000 years ago when Artesis Ancients got blocked. Oh, no! Oh, God. <laughs> Not like this. Uh, you talking about how Crit just wants to stay in lane. The moment he tries to change lane, he gets sent right back to base. Fortunately, they'll also send Whitemon back to base in a body bag. 7-6, to six, but uh, it is TSM with a healthy lead. Round 1 to 2k, and it's going to grow even further as Kasane looks to take more objectives. Yeah, he's saving a lot of skill points. God damn. All right, now he took an extra siphon. He was saving two skill points on his Death Prophet. Early mech, raindrop, and a full wand here for this DP. It is a pretty tough fight to burst this hero, especially when Crit had to walk all the way out from base again. This is that DP Pango combining. It's going to force Shopify to react. Oh, he's going to go for it. Brile. He has DD too. Nice jump in. That is a beautiful rebound. Sets up Brile rolling on through them. Couldn't quite finish him off, though, right away. Still the Enigma is finally burned down by the Static Storm. Kasani's in pretty deep here. Mikey has a chance to maybe be able to get this kill as he lasso pulls him back into the flames. Brile has to jump away, but he's slowed by the sneaky napalm, and Crit's going to town right now in the back lines. He ran down Whitemon and then helps oh. them kill Brile. All of a sudden, Shopify is back in the mix. TSM, what have you done? I feel like that was their fight if they don't overextend into Tombstone, Stickies, and the Undying Punch. Uh -huh. That's pretty much what they did. And then you're just not favored in that long fight. They also forced the fight with the exorcism down. Yeah, I was running out. Yeah, that was that was pretty much, you know, but you time is done. I mean, you did damage. They had double damage Pango there. Like, that, that's a fight you want to at least force some action. Is it? What, what, so. what, what so. good does a double damage do to Pango? He's just rolling around. And then he swashbuckles, but that's set damage. Well, maybe he should have swashbuckled first, and then... <laughs> well, no, it doesn't work. <laughs> I feel like that was an okay fight if they don't, like, straight in commit. They just are poking the tower. You force Shopify to react, and maybe you get one support kill sure. or something. Yeah, I yeah. think that's what you're aiming for. You still have to respect the, the tombstone in this game, because Crit has a lot of levels. He has max decay as well. Black Hole going to be used to get this kill onto the Pango. Meanwhile, Mikey was in a pretty good position to be able to get one, and possibly two goes for the kill on Whitemon as well. This is what we're talking about. Mikey. Maybe the laning phase. Oh, oh, no! He got stuck on the kinetic fields. Can't kill Whitemon and can't get away. Oh, and Whitemon gives him the chill, King. What were you saying? You cursed him again there or what? No, I was saying that, you know, laning phase, whatever. <laughs> but Mikey makes plays on bat. And he's trying He's trying to come back. I mean, he's still the poorest core in this game. He's, having, he's not. And that was after tanking some of the Ancients. Yeah, that's true. He did take up all those ancients. Oh my, oh my god. That's a Midas for Artesian. <laughs> Why? You, you guys, guys should have seen the way that Avery just threw his hands oh. up in the air. Like he had just forsaken all hope. <laughs> I, uh, I'm getting PTSD flashbacks, man. <laughs> you've, an, you've awakened memories dark in my recessed brain that I didn't know were there. Tomato is going to die as uh, Mikey is able to find that kill. So, Guys, we're on land. This isn't NA. DPC, <laughs> we, we don't have to bite his jungle. No, but it, it is NA. It's, it's, it's the same DPC. And Mikey's just down again. I feel like Mikey's trying to make plays, but again, this isn't his type of game flow. 
that I've seen them be successful with in this tournament. Okay. But it's a product that they lost the early tier one top. They got crunched into this area. He took some Ancients, which maybe he felt like Arteezy needs to go Midas because he's not getting the Mask of Madness Ancient Acceleration he wants. And now you're just getting caught off. This is another high ground tombstone fight, but it's not a fight because no one's here. I feel like Shopify are just getting caught off guard right now. They're keeping up in net worth, but the game flow just does not feel great for them right now. Yeah, look at TSM. Pick it up the pace. Get that kill, smoke up, run across the map. They they're, want Arteezy. They're going to where they think Arteezy is, but the joke's on you. He went Midas, so he's not <laughs> even going to the Ancients. He's going to hard camps right now. Pays off. They're well, going to fight I, him I mean, now. It would have oh. paid off. All they need is the vision. They'll be able to get the glimpse. And uh, Arteezy, they're going to try and TP in to save him here. He turns around with the Eclipse, tries to go for a kill. He's not going to get it. The damage comes quick and too fast. TSM like now going to look for more off too. of this one. As Kasani actually just gets burned out. Okay. Where did all that damage come I, from? We, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I think it might have been from the stolen spells from Fly. I think maybe he got... I feel like the they damage. didn't even do enough damage to kill him. I don't think... I guess so. <laughs> Just Midnight Pulse burned him down with Malefice. Some lingering bat damage as well. That's uh, going to be Greaves up for him even after the death, though. And I think TSM are in a pretty good position with the Deso on Tomato plus that Greaves to just force Roshan with the next XO here. Yeah, that's and that's where the network fight. difference like really starts coming into play, right? Yeah, just you don't have enough in the in the uh, net worth here for Shopify to contest that Roshan. Like, you have Tombstone, but that's pretty much it, right? That's where I maybe feel like the the playmaking for Rubik is going to give you some more team fight contest potential because you could steal an XO, you could steal a Rolling Thunder. It's just oh, a little bit. It would have been a really nice kill if they could have gotten Brile, but instead it's going to be Saberlight who dies here. And did he throw out the black hole there? No. Yeah. Oh, he did. Okay. It was a point one second black hole. Nah, oh, he didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't throw it out. We didn't see anything. <laughs> that was a ambitious black hole. Yeah, well, I, just I was just like, thing. did I see that right? Did he just try and black hole? There was there wasn't really any. Nobody from Shopify would have followed that up. I think. I don't know. Shopify just seemed kind of uh, out of sorts. Again, they, there's not that big of an effort network difference. No, but, but like you're saying, about to be if there's you going keep losing to these types of fights and yeah, you do have some comeback mechanisms, but they're not pretty. Like this Pango's going to scale pretty well in this game now. This TA is going to have a nice second, third item timing, depending if he wants to go BKB or not. Where you're just going on this Luna and Arkezi's not going to be able to man fight that. Mikey. He gets taken down a notch there. Whitemon got picked off somewhere else around the map, but much more important kill, killing that Batrider. Especially in this area, any deaths are very dangerous. Bet they wish they Still had a black typing. hole right now. There's your damage. Not enough? Not enough, though. Instead, Tomato's just going to turn around, kill Fly. Almost got him back with that Fade Bolt. Boy, that was a close call. Crit's going to show up. Malph is going to be able to put a stop to Bryle to be able to get off that Rolling Thunder. He's going to take a lot of damage during this time, and he's dead. Crit making okay. the plays with the zombie. Yeah, it's, you know, he's actually making more plays on this Undying than I would have expected. That's I, think sure. he's, I think he's probably had the best game of anybody here. <laughs> he's having a decent game, like 4-2 and two with drums up. He's had a pretty decent tournament, I would say. So far, his performance yeah. uh, at Dream League here has been, I think, putting uh, shop. I've always felt Crit's one of those players where... He doesn't like playing unnecessary Dota, you know? He only I wants do not know. What? Oh, you never heard that term? No. Huh. That's an old NA term. Okay. You only play the necessary games, you know? When you're on the brink of elimination. Oh, or you're on okay. You know, all these other games that are just fluff, like, yeah. your mind's not 100% <laughs> in it. But when it comes down to brass tacks, mm. he's going to perform. In other words, he's a very good land clutch player. That's the yes. non-overworded version of that. But here's that Roche Force that is... That Deso, that sidekick, not even using the Exo early here. Going to pop it. Oh, okay, now they're going to use it. Second half of this Roshan, and that's level 2 Exo with Grease Overclove. This is a tanky Death Prophet to cut through. I don't think this fight's that contestable, but they're going to try. Yeah, the Eidolon show up too late and shot fire. He's saying no. I'm surprised they were Pointless. trying to contest that, though. Hey, they I, got Exorcism. That's a nice deal. Okay, that's pretty damn nice here. Level 2. That can win you a team fight. Will it win them a team fight, though? TSM has got a lot of items coming in. 
You just need to take it around the tombstones here. That's your comeback spell. Tombstone and black hole. You need to make sure those give you the damage in the fight. Your stolen Exo, he got okay. it off. Let's see what he does with it. He's got to make sure he doesn't get bursted down by Ari and TSM. We're just like, okay, whatever. Let's just get out of here. We wasted Static Storm. He used Exorcism. Let's call it a day. Probably didn't even know he had it. Yeah. But I think TSM are fine with farming, too. I, I don't think they necessarily have to force the fight here. They can play the map with TA traps as long as they don't get picked off. Tomato blinks away, yes, but he could still be chased down. You got to help him. He has here. He's going to die once. I'm not sure if his team is going to get here in time for uh, life number two. Let's see. Okay, Brile is here with the Rolling Thunder. That's going to make things a whole lot harder. Looks like uh, Shopify is going to just get out of here. In fact, Waimon's going to be able to catch Mikey as well. He's forced to use his uh, first BKB charge of the game. Not how he wanted to. No. Better than dying, though. So you take that. And this is all time that that Luna Midas is going to work, baby. <laughs> Don't forget it. It doesn't really seem to be going to work because he's still behind all the other cores on TSM. Yeah, but think Never about how lies. far he would have been behind without it. <laughs> I guess that's true. Yeah. And it's about the levels. Like, Midas is okay on Luna because you get the levels and Cyril really likes the levels. It's just not the natural game flow progression because you're not getting that Mask of Madness, Ancient Stack, Acceleration, right? Right. I mean, yeah, he's going to be buying all levels here because they haven't won a fight in 10 minutes. You know? <laughs> that sucks, but he, he'd probably be down a level if he didn't have it. So it, it's going to add up here over time. It's basically close to paid for itself. Consumable gold spent 2,000. What, what is crit doing? Yeah, what is going on? Sir, you're a four, please. Oh, I went to Bongo Boots Rush. I like yeah, that. Yeah, he did. Pretty nice I Bongo game. Yeah, is there a, a slow that he's... I guess the TA trap slow? I was just thinking, I, I always wonder, like, why you upgrade to the Boots of Bearing right away and not go through the, the drum charges first. Oh, no, Mikey getting caught as well. The pickoff on Fly's Rubik was fine, but losing Mikey as well, that puts TSM in a very good position to start knocking down Tier 2s. I feel like Shopify just... They don't think they can fight this game, or they're not sure how to get the fight because TSM just keeps running at them. They're always down a man. They're probably waiting for this Luna BKB. And then you just try and take that fight, and if it goes wrong, this game is probably going to be out of your reach a little bit. Okay, the BKB is online now. What does Saberlight have? Is there an item that he's working towards? Wraith Pact? He already has Guardian Greaves, so the big item has already been picked up. The problem is you can't really just go this blink BKB build because he's playing versus Pango. And yeah. Bryle's having such a game, he's going to have fast basher in this game. He's going it next. It's going to cause him a lot of problems here. They do not deal well with the basher. Here is that fight. Okay. This is like a must win for Shopify, I think. You lose way too much map off this. The ward. Oh, look at that. White Mon. He sees the ward, realizes he was in a position, a dangerous one. Gets out of there real quickly. TSM with a pretty nice clean extraction. They all hopped on the chopper. And they actually re-smoke up. There's a the double river. damage in the river right now. And Arteezy was gutted for it, but now he's going to be caught. A BKB goes up, but the exorcism from Kasnani oh, is chasing him away. A beautiful static storm that separates Shopify on the high ground there and leaves Saberlight in a position he can't get out of. Neither can fly. Crit's going to fight back in the zombie form. He looks to be able to push him away. Mikey keeping his distance while Crit goes in. The two cores can't really seem to follow Crit up. But it looks like at least it was enough to keep TSM from running over the rest of Shopify and getting even more kills. Decent turn, I guess. I thought Shopify were going to get run down there. I, yeah. I don't know. That's a tough DD rune, man. Like, you're watching this back. I feel for RTZ who was just going for that. That DD maybe wins you the game. Like, it's easy to say, oh, we got baited on it. I mean, I said it, you know, but... Let's say TSM are 500 units farther away. You get that DD, you PKB, you might just turn on the Death Prophet. That's a very different fight. Yeah, I mean, if you could burst down the Death Prophet in that, that first little window of exorcism going off, it's a very That's different huge. fight. But the bait is a bait, and it just kind of gets split on that ramp with the, the beautiful Static Storm. Yeah. What's well, the nice. focus? And now you have BKB on Kasane. So that type of fight is just not as good anymore because all that magical burst from Luna, as I talked about in the matchup earlier, you know, now you're just down to the big glaive. That's it. I'm also yes, very surprised glaive. by Tomato's itemization here. Like, this is not a standard TA build. <laughs> yeah, this is not uh, a standard TA inventory. <laughs> 
This man got a loot box or something. <laughs> a slipper, a void stone, and an ulti horn. Of course, you could go Lincoln's. You could go Hex here. This is it Hex? Die? It is Lincoln's. It's Lincoln's. All right. So, Wait, the why? defensive item is Oh, lasso? He just doesn't want to get lassoed. Yeah. The Malefist can be annoying, but obviously, it's probably not your preferred block here. Still, I feel like BKB is kind of just better. I don't know. I, I think BKB is pretty nice here. You can just jump on the Luna and man fight her, and she's not killing you with beams or eclipse. You're not taking a bunch of extra magic damage from Bat and Rubik. Lincoln's is nice, but it doesn't help you man up and kill the Tombstone, which Tombstone is still an issue for TSM in these overextensions. You have to be careful. I would say the one thing that Lincoln's does is that when he plays... Tomato's been doing a lot of solo side lane pushing, right? Yes. It'll let him rat really yeah. hard. If he has that Lincoln's and he has a refraction up, I think Shopify literally cannot catch him. Yes, that is true. So if he's just playing, all right, we're going to win late game no matter what, guys, because Bryle's scaling out of control. I'm just going to keep splitting the map, get ultra farm. Big smoke from Shopify here. They still have Eclipse up. They still have Black Hole. Oh, Kasane, they got him before the BKB. They pull him back in with a lasso. Gets it. it off halfway through, though. No follow-up oh, there. Nice but hole. they do manage to get the Black Hole onto two. Stop at the Static Storm. Kasane still almost dead, but the Spirit Siphon is going to work. It's getting some heals up. A little bit more damage on Arteezy. Finally managed to finish him up with the help of Fly. Bryle rolling on through, but now it's pointless. With his Death Prophet dead, he just needs to get out. He's going to help. Haste rune there. Yeah, it'll make things a lot easier. I mean, is TSM going to try and turn? They might be able to. There's no ult. All right, he we're certainly sitting on that high ground looking at it. <laughs> nice deny. <laughs> you really got into that one. Yeah, I, I, like a good, uh, I like a good obs ward deny. It's a, it's a nice, small support play. I mean, good fight from Shopify. They get this DP before BKB. They don't get the chain stun, but you can't ask for everything. And Black Hole lasts long enough where it allows you to commit into that fight. I still feel like Tomato has not been able to commit into these engagements. The Tombstone maybe just too threatening. Crit is really annoying. He's just running in with all this HP. Nobody wants to touch him. It's not an easy way to bring this Undyne down. You got a Medallion? I haven't seen he one has of been those going, in a while. He has been going at all tournament. Oh, really? Yeah, he has really liked the Medallion Solar Crest. Huh. He, I mean, he plays with Arteezy, so you got to buff him up. You know? uh, of course, yeah. But he just feels like it's decent value. Looking forward, instantly stunned there. But the Malefist and Octizy uh, four staffs down to the low ground to finish him off. That was not the fight, son. Yeah, and TSM are super split right now. No BKB up on Artizi though, so he is going to die for that kill on Debrile. Baited him. And Saberlight. Oh, they went a glimpse on somebody else. They could have caught uh, Saberlight there as well, but I don't think White Mon was looking. You know, ends up working out, I guess. Yeah. You throw the freebie Artizi's way, buddy will pay the iron price. And this is all just about pushing an extra Roshan here for TSM. Sure. Like, honestly, they don't even care about all this junk. They're like, yeah, whatever. We'll take some fights here or there. But ultimately, we get next Rosh. We're going to win the game off that with Shard and give it to TA for some extra silence, whatever you want to do with it. And then you're going to have this Marcy BKB coming out as well. There's just so much committal in the fight that's going to happen here for TSM. Suddenly, this Undying that's been your bulwark with the Tombstone with the ult that maybe TSM don't want to commit to, might get to a point where they just commit on him in the fight, and then that fight's going to look a lot different here. Or if you can ever start an Enigma. That's so much team fight out the window for Shopify. So positioning from Saber Lighting Crit needs to be on point here. He's going to get caught. Let's yeah, back he Static close. Storm just for a moment, but that's all they need. Double damage again. Man, this these power room controls has just been huge for Bryle this game. But you know... That Arteezy Midas has been going to work, and <laughs> he is second in the net worth. He's it climbing up off. there bit by bit. He's got Pike. He's got that Grove Bow. Some extra range here. Yeah, the Grove Bow was a real nice addition to him. If you can get a good Eclipse, if you can get the level 3 Eclipse here, and yeah. you manage to lasso a core before BKB, you will burst him. And that is one of the mechanisms Shopify can use because then TSM has to commit into the target that's getting lassoed, which sets up the fight for their big team fight in the Tombstone of the Black Hole. So these, these lasso initiations are probably becoming even more vital for Shopify to get something going as they smoke around top. You do have Blink Aether on Mikey here. So this is the time to start lasso dragging your team back in the game. Huge amount of pressure on the stand-in, but he's been in this position before. Gonna have to break Lincoln's. It's gonna have to happen fast. Break right through the Lincoln's and they get it. The combo Damn. is there. Very well timed. A lucent beam and then the lasso. I mean, Dire Ward doing a lot of work there oh, too. Yeah. 
still that was pretty pretty well damn executed gonna hope Ro spawns and it is it's gonna spawn oh. right now Ooh, Are that is huge that's absolutely you cannot ask for a better smoke into a better ward into a better pickoff into better execution into better Midas timing for Arteezy <laughs> it's all coming together <laughs> the Shopify magic it's all coming up our tour do you go Midas something here? <laughs> Oh, the, I mean, you're missing out on crucial timing. He's probably telling somebody to pull in the Yeah, drag a neutral him. camp. This is a huge Roche. This is Shard Roche. Yeah. You're going to give it to Luna. This is what Luna wanted. In the, oh, no, you're going to give it to the bat. Oh, okay. okay. Spicy, spicy. I mean, that was pretty much perfect timing there. The uh, What an opening to find in this game. I think you might just lose the game if you don't find that pick into the Roshan. And honestly, a yeah. little sloppy from TSM for Tomato to even have that as an option, right? I get what he's doing. He's like trying to break smokes there, but you don't have vision. It's just unnecessary, right? Because you know Shopify are going to make a smoke maneuver to try and make this happen. And as long as you just group during that period when Roshan spawns, it's one of these super high risk for very low reward plays by Tomato. And Shopify find the angle, make it happen back in the game. Paladin sword up for this Luna with level 18. That's a big timing. And now you get that shard to the bat. He's probably going to go back for that Witchblade. Suddenly this bat is going to scale really hard, which is what Mikey likes to do on it. Do you think they, they were talking? So I thought Shard of Luna, like, that's a pretty big damage increase, especially if you would, you know, pick up, like, the Daedalus next or something like that. Yeah. I, I do think you, do you think that the Luna is not strong enough to contest TA? Like... No, I think you can. I think if you can get a nice butterfly timing, if he doesn't have NKB, you can you can go Scotty Manta, you can get Satanic. There's a lot of ways you can take this fight. I've even seen AC builds. So you think it's time. unnecessary for Bat Rider to have? I mean, that, the like, thing is, game presence. well, we're gonna have a fight here. They're gonna try and chain stun him, but he has Aegis. Yeah, that is not a easy kill. They're they do manage to get the lasso on it because Sane the clips forward from Arteezy. He's trying to keep the rest of the team back. Whitemon gets off the static storm. Arteezy actually died pretty quickly there. Of course, he does have the Aegis, and now they're down two members on the side of TSM. Trying to kill Arteezy. They need to help him out here. The rest of... Uh, where's the rest of Shopify? Oh. Finally, the Black Hole comes in, and it grabbed the TA, the perfect Black Hole. Ha, <laughs> Saberlight taking the time to tip Tomato. My Mid -black old hole. friend. Welcome back. <laughs> That's just not the fight. I, I don't understand that fight. I don't understand. You're using your whole Rolling Thunder to go on a Luna with Aegis, and you're just giving Mikey a free initiation on the best target in this Death Prophet. That's just mispositioning from TSM on a river fight. I do not like what they've done in the last five, six minutes in this game. I don't think they do either, and they're paying the price in a game that might have just been straightforward to close out. They just can't take the fights here, and now Scotty done for our tour. He is big. He is very big. And he is becoming a problem. Poked away. So they won't have to uh, lose any objectives during this timing of the Templar Assassin. Actually, chasing a little far here. They do have the Lincolns. I mean, they know there's no ults here for Shopify. This is a good fight. Is They got the Tombstone out, and Arteezy's in a good position to be able to tear through Ari. Now he focuses his attention onto Kasane. If they can kill Kasane, this fight is free, and yes, it looks like for the Scotty slowing him down, it's going to be easy. Once again, TSM trying way too hard to take fights that are not in their control. I don't think they've killed a single Tombstone this entire game. And I think it's a product of they just haven't been able to man up with their cores between the BKBs and just right click it. Yep. Oh, the long range what? lasso there. Jeez. Hello, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Game over. That lasso should not have landed just for the record. <laughs> I don't know about that one. That was about a thousand range there. I mean, I popped the glyph. I know, but I, people said Mikey's good at bat, but. I don't know. I didn't know he was that good, you know? <laughs> does he have the Psychic headband or something? He does have Aether and Psychic. Yeah. But that was a stretch Armstrong last one and a half. All right. Well, I mean, maybe TSM can actually fight this. Mikey's going to take a lot of damage. Oh, what a stun from Ari. But is there the damage follow-up? The Eclipse goes out from RTC, pushing the heroes back into their fountain. Got they the do to get the Disruptor at least. Ari slowed down, but he actually has the rebound to be able to get away. Glimpse back onto RTC, but they have to go in and yeah, out again, here. Again, no out Tombstone. Who is dealing with it? Nobody right now. 
They're gonna try and focus it. This is thrown down to half health. Tombstone kill of all time, Kastani man. just all in, trying to keep himself alive, but it's not good enough. Now the tombstone's down. Tomato starts focusing on Tuartisi, but the pop, the BKB, they focus on the throne, and the building is gonna die. They cannot stop it. Shopify.